So I was in the shower, I was cleaning my ass and making all stirs all sparkly, spanky clean. I'm not the funny one, I'm the pretty one. Cock shots. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked myself out. Music, wine, and then loop up and get on top. The glory hole is like a, a like dick theater. I've imagined your pants. Which means your pants had better come off. Mama needs playtime. I think it's uh, We're not sluts. We just love love. Hello, everyone. This is Mrs. Atom. And this is Mr. Atom. Yes. Thank you for joining us here for another week. What up? By the by. By the by. Yeah. We need a theme song. Wait, we have one. Oh, well, that's an opening, I guess. Yeah, we need a theme song. Okay. okay. Like, I want to fuck you in the ass. (laughs) Wow. Wow. (laughs) I'm loopy. I'm sticky. And not good, happy. Sticky. I was gonna say, like, why like, are you sticky? Because <laughs> like, I have, I, sp- I accidentally spray glued, spray glued my hands, mm-hmm. and then I tried to get it off, and it's, it's. We probably have some goo gone. Well, I'd also, just I soap. also tried um, baby oil because I thought the oil would cut uh-huh. through. It does not. So right. now I just have like, oh my god! What if I'm like Spider Man? I'm gonna go try to climb the apartment. Go for it! I'm gonna video this. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Man <laughs> dies after trying to climb apartment. I was going to say, I'll video it and I'll dial zero, zero <laughs> and be ready for the third zero. Hmm. Fine, fine, fine. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so yeah. we go on vacation tomorrow. I like, know. Literally tomorrow. It's exciting. By the time you're listening to this, we will be 24 hours away from flying mm-hmm. on a plane. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't want to think of work again. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to be a big month. It's going to be a big month, yeah. Us. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're leaving tomorrow on uh, to go to Passion in Paradise, which is going to be awesome. Yes. We did that last year. Yes. As many of you know. Yes. And so we're going to go back, be there for five days, and then we come home. Well, one of us comes home. I guess we both come home together. <laughs> yes. And we have one last night, and then you fly For take-back sex. For take-back sex, and you fly uh-huh. to the States the very next morning. I do. And I'm going to be all alone for Aww. 10 days. Not quite 10 days. It's only like 8 or 9 or something. Okay. All alone for 8 days. <laughs> Whatever yes, will are. I do? You have a full social calendar. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to masturbate a lot. <laughs> think you're gonna have to you're gonna need gum shoes next time you come back to my apartment this thing is you're gonna go to the our secret spot halloween party while i'm gone hopefully yes yeah. i haven't com- i haven't confirmed that mm-hmm. i don't want to go by myself mm-hmm. um so I if mean, your date falls through just put it out on twitter i'm sure you can find a date <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. um yeah no it, it should be fun I, I am looking forward to to i'm, I'm i may work uh, at our secret spot that night. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I don't go for fun, I'll go for work. Yeah. I'm happy to work. Yeah. It's fun to be in that environment and see everybody all dressed up. And it's always yeah. a super busy night. Yeah. So. It'll be fun. It'll yeah. be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah. So this past weekend, uh-huh. what have we done? We went, uh, oh, we were at, we had a meet and mingle on Friday night. Yes. That was fun. Yep. The, our secret we spot. We met and we mingled. Meet and mingle, which we have not been to in a number of months just because of schedules and stuff. And it was always one of our favorite things. I know. Things. It is. It's one of my favorite nights, especially a Friday night. Yeah. It's nice to go after work, just kind of chill out, relax. Yeah. Yeah. So we went there. Oh, actually, mm-hmm. I guess before that even, you went to pick up something that I'm not sure we're even allowed to talk about just yet. So yeah, there's yeah. something that Angela picked up on Friday mm-hmm. past that is amazing and yeah. pictures are coming. Yes. But not just yet. You Don't want to spoil the surprise. You have to be patient. It's going to be epic. Patience. Um, I think anybody who's patient will probably see it uh, if today's Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. Thursday yeah. night or Friday yeah. morning. Yeah. So, yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm so uh, excited. Yeah. So, and then we went to the meet and mingle. That was fun. Mm-hmm. We met. We mingled. Mm-hmm. Uh, we met some of the folks who are a, cu- a couple that are going to be at uh, Passion in Paradise. Yes, there was an out-of-town couple that was that was here. And yeah. so they came to the meet and mingle. It was nice to chat with them for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't play with them at the club afterwards, but that's okay because there'll be plenty of time, Passion. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was, that was fun. Um, yeah. Then we went to the club. Yeah. 
we had a, a nice long play session Dead. with a lady. So, yeah. yeah. An MFF. Mm-hmm. Mf, mf. Or a FMF. <laughs> or a FM. Actually, it wouldn't be. Mm. It's, it's a shorter mm. FM. Because only one M. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yes. I've only had like two sips of wine and I'm just, I, I've lost the plot. It's all right. So, this was uh, someone that I've played with before. But it was the first time that the two of us played with her. Yes. And I thought it was funny that while at one point you were going down on her and I had been sitting on her face for a bit, but then I came up and to give her a breather and she looks at me and she's like, I see why you keep him around. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I was busy focusing on my task at hand. Like, yep, that's exactly why I keep him around. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Well, now I feel complimented. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yay. I need to put that on my Tinder profile. <laughs> uh, oral skills. Why she keeps me around. Totally should. <laughs> also, why he keeps me around. Uh, nah. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Saturday, it was just a nice day. Finish up some shopping and prep for our trips. Yes. And last minute costume finishes. Because we have... And packing. What, like 14... <laughs> Uh, 18 days worth of costumes. I know. It's crazy. And there's a little bit of overlap. There is. But not a lot. There is some overlap, but not, not what I would consider a significant amount. Yeah, yeah, because the themes are. Some of them, like you said, are, are similar enough to where we can use some pieces and parts for different weeks. And then, but you, I mean, overall, the themes are quite different. Yes. And we can. Do you want to go through the passion themes? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So, yeah, the themes for Passion and Paradise. The first night is Bordello. Bordello. Which, you know, for the longest time I thought was a type of mushroom. Then I thought it was a type of cheese. (laughs) Then I thought it was a type of red wine that came from Italy. And how old were you when you had each of these thoughts? Um, 7, 18, and 32. (laughs) And now you know what it is? Yes. Okay. It's a it's a cream like hummus. All right, okay. It's a spread. <laughs> and what do you spread it on? <laughs> Your lady place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just for anyone out there who does not already, you should watch Big Mouth. Yes, on Netflix. Please watch yes. it. It makes me so happy. It is absolutely hilarious. Yes. They deal with a lot of very appropriate topics in very. Just very deftly. A very good, yeah. They're very yeah. good at it. Very sex positive. Yeah. Uh, and but then you'll have to you'll have to endure your partner who whispers these romantic things <laughs> into your ear while you're having sex, like, yeah, come in my lady place. Go number three in my lady place. Go number three in my lady place. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, you're gonna make thick in my warm. <laughs> yeah. So just be cognizant of that because that. Can be less than hot, but it does slow you down, so sex lasts longer. <laughs> uh, it's such a great show, though. Yeah, great show. Good yeah, show. yeah. Um, yeah, so packing, last-minute costume stuff, yeah. and the theme night. That's right, yeah. that's where we were. Bordello, sorry. Yep. Bordello is not a mushroom. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got the first night is Bordello. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to be honest, I am not terribly excited for this night. I am terribly excited for what our costu- our costumes are. Yes. Um, I am curious to see what everybody does because the the point of this night is for everybody to get dressed up um, and the men are supposed to be in charge of the money and basically trading it for tricks from the women is kind of the gist of it. And it seems a bit heteronormative to me. Uh, I'm not, I, I, I gotta be honest in this, in this day and age of, of Kavanaugh and Trump, it does not <laughs> seem like a great plan. But, yeah. you know. I'm kind of uh, curious. I'm still kind of curious to see how yeah. everybody does it. And, of course, we're doing it in our own special way. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. But um, I do think it's uh, interesting that the first time we've done anything like this, at least since we were in Australia, was at a uh, pub crawl that Swinging Down Under hosted. That's right. Oh, my gosh. That was our first pub yep. crawl we went to of theirs. Yep. They did that. And it was the same thing. The guys had the money and, you know, you're supposed to, to pay the women to, you know, give you a kiss or do whatever or something. And I remember very early on, D gave me all of his money for promises for services in the future. And I know that C looked at him and she was like, what did you do with all your money? And he's like, she has it. Because <laughs> yeah, you just walked right up to him and you're like typical you. And we're like, 
you want to give me all your money. And he looked at you and went, I want to give you all my money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we have another friend, who the, the Scotsman, mm-hmm. who uh, I think they call him Mr. Belay, mm-hmm. who gave you all of his money uh-huh. for uh, to go to the bathroom with him. Yep. Yep. I ended up with a lot of money that night. Yeah. It was awesome. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you're just going to walk up to the women and go, give me all your money. Yeah. <laughs> this is a robbery. <laughs> it's interesting because, yeah, we'll see what kind of mood I'm in. Because at this point, I'm kind of like, I'm just, I'm not really interested in the theme. So I really don't care about the money. Yeah. But we'll see But we all know you. Once it's a game and you're like, I could win, you will be like, <laughs> I will cut you. Give me, this is a stick up. You'll be like <laughs> mugging people on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, can I take the little shock knife thing? <laughs> oh my god, that would be awesome. Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but ask for consent before you mug people. Right. Is this going to be okay? Yes? Are right, you cool. Give me all your money. <laughs> Great. So yeah, that, that'll be fun. Uh, night number two? Uh, it's day number two. Oh, that's... So they're giving people a chance because I know that last year a number of people went away on the Saturday. They went into Port Douglas for dinner. And so that theme night was a little more difficult because not everyone was there. No, Friday. Friday's day number two. So Thursday night is oh, the right. Bordello night. Friday night is... Is uh, it the 70s? It's the 70s. Okay. Yeah. So I was skipping to day three. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Because I'm not used to starting holiday on a Thursday. It's no, kind no, of right? awesome. It's weird, but awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the it's 70s theme. That's 70s which, theme. Which, again, I think it's a great theme. For a party. For a party. My concern is, and I don't want to be negative Nancy over here, but my concern is it's in the fucking rainforest. Mm -hmm. Polyester is the 70s. It screams the 70s. So it's in the rainforest, or or at least in that sort of, it's going to be hot and and muggy and moist. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be moist on me because of sweat (laughs) and nasty shit. I want it to be moist because it's like lady moist. Uh Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it, that one was a hard one for us to come up with costumes for because you do, you think 70s, you think polyester, you think bell bottoms or like the, a lot of the women's, even dresses that are short have long sleeves. Yeah. And so, I mean, you can find things, but it's a lot harder. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It, that one was really difficult to come up with something that we're not going to absolutely melt in. But I think we, I think we, uh, I think we've done okay. I think we did kind of amaze balls. Yeah. Because what was left of my costume wasn't completed, but Lawrence and Jess dropped us off a few weekends ago mm-hmm. from being out and about. And Lawrence goes, What's that? I said, Oh, it's my costume for the 70s night at Passion. He goes, Oh, man. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty excited for that one. Yeah. 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 Stay tuned for pictures. That's right. Yeah. Let's just say mine is interactive. Mm, it is. You're mm. right. You're right. Uh, and, then and so yours, s- I will say, is whatever. What when I think of the '70s, mm-hmm. it is the epitome of exactly what I think about, like the '70s. Well, we'll you, see what everybody else out yeah. in podcast land and Twitter land thinks. Yes. By the weekend, we're looking at you, microphone people. <laughs> All right, we're ready for Saturday now? Saturday, yeah. yeah. So this was the one that they moved to a day party because of people leaving to go to dinner and just getting out of the resort a bit on Saturday. Um, so that one is a pool party. Yay! Which is kind of, a, I think, a very easy theme for a resort where most of the action happens around the pool. Uh, also, that's clothing optional. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that one was difficult because you're like, okay, it's a pool party and we're generally mostly nude when we're sitting around the pool. So now we put on a pretty swimsuit. What do you do yeah. for this? Yeah. So this one was, again, this was a tough one. I think a lot of people are going to get really lazy on this one. Yeah. We, on the other hand, did not get really lazy. <gasps> we... I think it took you three nights to make your costume and mm. one or t- two nights to make my costume. So it's... Yeah. yeah, it 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 took a bit of. This was probably the one that we've actually put the most work into, um, but again, it just yeah, because I don't really do the whole sexy swimsuit thing and whatever. Well, you do sexy swimsuit thing, but that's called any day that ends in Y. Yeah, it's but you know like the ones that are like super plunging and whatever. Yeah, well, every just, swimsuit that you have is sexy, like the yeah. new one you bought. It's yeah. it's sexy. Yeah. You should, people, microphone people, I'm talking to you. You should see the cleavage that she gets from this new swimsuit that she just bought this weekend. It's amazing. I'm sure over the next month there will be a picture somewhere. Oh, I'm sure there will. <laughs> like, I'm, I mean, it's hot. Mm. Yeah. You're all tits in that one. It's great. Sorry, breast man. It's okay. 
<laughs> it doesn't even have padding in it either. Which is crazy because that means them, it's all you, baby. Because some of them have padding in them, which is yeah. kind of nice because then, you know, it makes it look bigger. So You don't have to make them look bigger. Product, there. product placement. Yeah, right. They're all big there. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah, um, ah. yeah, the... <laughs> Sorry. What it means is you're going to go, Rawr! and then your spine is going to glow, and you're going to shoot lasers out of your tits. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's classic Godzilla. <laughs> classic Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, and so that one was that one was difficult again yes. because that again they're easy themes for a general party or for a vanilla party, the seventies and the pool party. Yeah. But for something like this, it's kind of difficult. We're trying to make it a little sexy and a little yeah. flirty, you know, and maybe but not look, be boring. Like, you don't have to make it sexy and flirty. Mm-hmm. Let's make that very clear. But come on, that's kind of the fun of it is yeah. is being creative and clever with your costumes. And that's that's one of the tricky parts, especially at a resort where it is going to be warm. Because the same thing with Desire, we had the same kind of I'm going to say quote unquote issue with that is there are these theme nights which are great theme nights, but you're at a resort where it is warm and humid, and so the question is how much skin do you show? How close to the theme do you stay? Are you serious? Are you funny? Are you cheeky? Like, where do you go yeah. along that line? And it can, of course, vary from night to night. Um, how elaborate elaborate do you want to go? Do you even participate? Because you don't have to participate. Yeah. Uh, some people, I know, um, I've seen on the Desire forums and, and chats that we've been in, that some people just say they do, like, a themed T-shirt or something. Because it's less to pack and, you know, it's it's easy and they don't necessarily want to bring a lot of stuff with them. Meanwhile, we have two large suitcases only for costumes. Yeah, and a steamer trunk for toys. And, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we yeah. basically, yeah, we got we got lots of shit, folk. Yeah, but it is it is kind of one of those fine lines of how much effort do you want to put into it? How much skin do you want to show? Uh, what direction do you want to go with the the themes and the costumes? And uh, yeah, it's tough. It really is. And I know we had a lot of discussion about it because at first we were like, well, we don't want to take a lot of stuff. And it was like, but we like dressing up. We yeah. enjoy this. The this is fun. fun. Yeah. And it's, and, and it's fun to be creative with them. And I got to be honest, I am one of those people that I am less interested in the people that don't put effort into the mm. costumes. Because it for me, I see that, and this is me just judging, but I see that as sort of a, a, a flag on how they're going to be in in bed because if they don't put any effort in the costume mm. how do i know they're going to put any effort into play and again that might be that might be unfair mm-hmm. but i can't help it that's how i feel <laughs> i get it i do um you know but the, again it, it is i think it is situational as well in in especially with some place that you have to fly to how much luggage does that take up Now, the benefit is that the rest of the resort is clothing optional. So if you're planning on being nude most of the rest of the time, you have to have some dresses and clothes for the restaurant area when you're eating dinner and stuff like that. So you do have to have a little bit of something, but it doesn't have, you don't need a lot of other clothing per se. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Yeah. So I'm just saying. Yeah. Put some effort in, folks. That's all I'm asking. I just like to see the creativity. That's right. And if you're creative with your costumes, you're going to be creative in bed. Yeah, it's quite possible. Brown chicken, (laughs) brown cow. Mm -hmm. Fourth night. Fourth night. Ooh, yeah. I'm so excited for this one. Yeah. It's like feathers, leather, sparkle, and glisten. Sequins and sparkle. There you go. Sequins and sparkle and feathers and leather. It's it's basically just dress up and look pretty. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. a fancy dress. It's let's a say. fancy dress. Fancy dress. But your costume, mm-hmm. hmm. yours is fun too. You have a new piece for that. I do have a new piece that was custom made by uh, D Design. Yeah. And yes, you'll see pictures posted. And uh-huh. yeah, go buy your shit from her. She makes amazing stuff. She has an Etsy store. We'll link to it. Yeah. Later, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've got a new piece for that. I'm really excited for that. Um, so that's going to be a fun one. That's also. A difficult one to travel with. Yours is mine is very a, difficult. Mine is a difficult one it to travel with. It needs its with. own suitcase. Yeah. So I'm not going to tell people what it is, but I am going to say that it recently stepped off the stage in like 2011 from the <laughs> Australian burlesque uh, 2011, competition. 2012, something like that. Somewhere yeah. around 2011, yeah. 2012. We finally dug up the, and found the yeah. original picture of it being used on stage mm. by a, pro, a burlesque artist, performer lady. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah. 
It's gonna be fun. It's gonna um, be amazing. And that's gonna be the the last night before we leave. Yeah. So that'll be that's kind of like a big hurrah before everybody goes home. One and, last hurrah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Awesome. I'm so excited for that. Like, mm-hmm. so, so excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about, for people that have never been to any kind of resort, lifestyle resort, kind of takeover, uh, party, anything like that, let's talk about some of the ins and outs and the logistics of it. Because okay. obviously we've got the theme nights, and we've talked yes. about how much you want to participate in those versus not. Um, do it. Yeah, do Sorry. it. <laughs> Because I know that early on we talked about, let's just, especially for Desire, where we have a lot of stuff to take, is like, let's just go simple. But then knowing us, because we like to dress up and we like to put the effort in, I knew that if we didn't do that, we would feel left out and sad on the night that, oh, we really didn't do anything. And and I would feel shamed a bit. I know that other people may not shame us for it, but I would shame myself for it. The shame lizard. I mean, shame lizard. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Hi, shame lizard. (laughs) Okay, it's a big mouth reference. Sorry, people, it's going to be a lot of those for the next little bit because we just watched season two and we're going to start back on season one. But anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah so no, I agree. Yeah. I'd feel I'd feel the same way. It's one of those. I'd be like, that, oh, there's all these people that actually put effort into it, and I didn't, and I didn't. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it it does. I think it does sort of affect the way mm. that you. It would affect it. my enjoyment of the night. Again, nobody else may see that or think that but i would think that about myself so i'm gonna compliment you and i may be jumping ahead on your notes because you know angela's got a whole sheet of notes over there and that's okay typical bradford i got i got a bottle of wine uh (laughs) (laughs) so i gotta give you credit on packing in a very very smart way so it is clothing optional resort so minimum Mm. clothing it's sexy clothing we all know sexy clothing tends to pack pack small yeah what she did was she took gallon sized baggies, or I guess in Australia they're I think they're just called large. Large. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> large Ziploc bags. Large Ziploc bags. Wrote the name of the night, the theme, and you may have even written the day. Um, but, no, I wrote the name and whose. Yours, okay. mine, or both. And so yeah. then stuffed them down inside of it. So mm-hmm. basically we've got suitcases that are full of costumes, but each costume is in a Ziploc baggie. Mm-hmm. So all you have to do is grab out the Ziploc baggie for that night. Pull out your costume, then it's ready, and yeah. then that next night you can stuff it back in. Yeah, yeah. Or that I did, night when it's over, I did that just because. For one, we have so many costume nights that it helped me keep track of. I, I basically didn't put it into a baggie or and put it away until I had all the parts for it. So it helped me keep track of what still needed to be done as far as crafting the costumes or getting, buying parts, making parts, whatever it may be. But just making sure that we had all of the pieces for a costume done and then also put them all together so that on that day and on that night, again, because especially at Desire where we have two weeks, so we have 14 nights in a row of costumes. Of costumes. And I don't want to be digging through suitcases, throwing stuff all over the room, trying to find where's this, where's that, and inevitably, knowing me, I would forget, oh, I had this to go with that costume. Exactly. Some little, like, ex- Yeah, some little accessory that I would forget that I had. And so by putting it all in the baggie together, it helped me mentally prepare. But then also, I think it'll help when we're there to just have it all together and be able to, to assemble ourselves. I agree. And I think it's not a bad idea to, once we get home, to yeah. store it that way. Yeah. I also think it's going to be interesting because it, it's been so long since we've flown through the U.S., but to see how I'm pretty sure that bag will get TSA checked mm-hmm. because I'm pretty sure all the plastic baggies on a scanner are going to show up a bit weirdly. <laughs> like, so I'm willing to bet they're going to open that one up. Strangest drugs ever. <laughs> but they, I mean, they're labeled with our themes and whose they are. But because I know that when we came back from the States last time, we had bought some board games and card yes. games and stuff. And some of them, a couple of them were in our carry-on luggage. And the, that got searched, of course. And the lady, when we were talking about it with her, she's like, oh, yeah, the cellophane shows up weirdly whenever it goes through the x-ray scanner. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure that that bag is going to get TSA checked. That's fine. But it's fine. I don't want As long mind. as they don't open up our baggies and mix our clothes up. I know. If they do that, I'll cut Oh, somewhere. my God. If you work for the TSA and you open up our suitcase, please do not mix up the costumes. <laughs> I will have a heart attack. Yeah, do you know how hard we work for this? <laughs> you could I say look at them. Angela. How hard Angela worked for this? You could look at them. Just don't mix them up. <laughs> and don't try them on. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look better in them than we do, please take a photo yes. and send it to us. Still weird, but sexy. <laughs> we need to put our phone number in there. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my god, I love it. Oh, that's great. But yeah, I was so impressed with that idea, and it was it's great. Mm. It's just epic. It's just epic. Mm. It's the only way I could stay organized and make sure that we've got it all covered. I'm so glad one of us is organized. I'm not. <laughs> So, organization, what do you have over there on your list? Um, so, I was starting at the beginning of a holiday. I guess oh. we've already talked about packing a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure we necessarily need to say a whole lot more about that. Uh, but I was going to start with arrival. Because one of the things oh, I for you, us... I heard arrival. Like, we have arrival? Who's against us? No. You arrival. Mean, getting there. Right. Because I know that, especially <laughs> for, like, passion, uh, for desire, we really only had one option coming from L.A. that was direct. And so that was a non-issue. But going into Passion, we had three flight choices. We could get in early in the day. We could get in mid, mid-afternoon. mid We could get in kind of in the evening. And so the question is, which one do we do? And last year, we got in about 11, 11.30, something like that. So a little bit earlier, which was really nice. And I think it's kind of like going to the Swingers Club in that you're there as everybody else is arriving and coming in. And so that way, you're kind of greeting people, and you're there as that energy is building. And I like that. I do, too. It is much easier yeah. to greet people than it is to meet people. Mm-hmm. So I would highly recommend anybody who goes to something like this, get there early. Yeah. And we've said that before. You're, I think you're spot on. Yeah. Is that when when you're there already comfortable and seated, and you've got your cocktail, and somebody comes in and you go, Hi, my name is Bradford, and come sit with us. Mm. That's a lot easier and you're you're doing two things. One, you're you're helping them by giving them an opening and and allowing them to come acceptance. into your circle yeah. and get that acceptance. And two, it gives you the control. You're in the reins to do that. So, you know, if you're coming in where a bunch of people are already sitting down, they're already chatting, they're already laughing, it could be hard for you to bust in. And because I remember last year was great. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were in a very it was a very lucky position in which. It started out with one small circle. Well, we were in the first van load to get yeah. there. So that, so it was yeah. First one small circle, then a couple of small circles, and then it ended up being one giant circle. Yeah. We kept spreading out and adding more chairs. In kind of the pool bar area. In the pool bar yeah. area. And I think that's such a, it was so much fun, mm-hmm. but yeah, I think it's, it's definitely, easier to already be there. Yeah, I think it's definitely better to get there early. Uh, I, I'm a Plus little, your vacation starts earlier. Yeah, exactly. And I'm also curious to see how it goes for us at Desire because we actually arrive early afternoon. So I know there's going to be a lot of people that are coming in earlier in the day, both from flight times that I've seen and also some that are getting there the night before, staying in Cancun, and then going to the resort that morning. So there will be a lot of people already there. But we're not getting there like at dinner time. So I'm kind of curious to see how it goes getting there midway. Yeah. Because we'll be coming in, but so will a lot of other people at that point. Because it is the, I mean, it's the only direct flight from L.A. So it's what we took. Because I wasn't going to deal with another connection at that point. (laughs) We have enough time on planes. (laughs) Agreed. Oh, you don't like airplanes? I, I don't mind airplanes, but after flying for like, I don't know, how far is it? 14, 16 hours? 14 and a half hours yeah. to get to LA. And then it's another four or five something to Cancun. I didn't yeah. want to throw a layover in there, have another stop at another airport, yeah. and then add another hour or two on just because of the way the, the flights go. No, I just, we're, we're going easy. <laughs> Man, coming home's going to be long. That's 18 hours. 20 probably with a layover. Yeah, because... Yeah, I would say easy because I think our layover is four or five hours. There you go. It's going to be 22 so, hours to get home. Generally, yeah. it's usually. If you live in the States, please listen to this and respectfully understand how exhausting it is to get to Australia and from Australia. Yeah. We're down here all by ourselves. You're generally, unless we're going to, to Southeast Asia, if we're going to Europe or the U.S., we're spending anywhere from probably 22, 23 hours up to, 36. it was 32, I think, last time we went home. Well, so, yeah, and just and if, going to, uh, when we went to Amsterdam yep, for work, was, it was a 34-hour flight and mm-hmm. then a two-hour train ride. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so just keep in mind that, that we're freaking far from everybody yes. else. And it takes us a lot of time and effort to get places. Yes. Uh, and I think that goes for anyone in this kind of South Pacific area. Bali so. high. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you go from little, New Zealand, Singapore? Well, South Pacific I don't know. popped into my head yeah. and I couldn't turn it off. I'm going to wash yeah. that man right out of my hair. <laughs> I actually like that show. It's a great show. Yeah, yeah. More more places should do it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, that's really all I had on the arrival was just timing. You know, when you're planning, if you have control over it. Yeah. You know, where, when should you get there kind of thing? You know, early, mid, or what? And I'd say early for sure. And if, if this is a first time for you, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be intimidating. Mm-hmm. 
But at the same time, this group, everybody's there for the same reason. Everybody's there to, to have fun, be naked and be sexy and make friends. Mm -hmm. So just kind of go in with your smiles and happy face and a good positive attitude. And I think you'll get whatever you invest. Absolutely. Positivity is an investment. (laughs) You put it in and it makes dividends. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's a penis. Can it be both? Can it be both? (laughs) The penis, you put it in and you thrust a few times and then suddenly you make dividends. (laughs) And they pay out. Yeah. No, they put out. Oh, right, right. Okay, that's it. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes I like to put out on your chest. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Sorry. Are you ready to move on? Yes, sorry. Okay. (laughs) No, hang on. I'm imagining those giant tits again. Okay. Uh, So one of the questions we've actually seen, uh, there's a a group chat that we've been part of for a lot of folks that are going to, to Passion and Paradise. Also another one for desire. Also and another, another one, one for, for the, the other, other desire. desire. <laughs> <laughs> Look, people, we've got kick for one, rocket chance for another, and me, we for the third. Can oh we my not God. agree on a single? Like, Just this, use one platform. Come on, people. We need a one ring to rule them yes, all. Yes, all the groups need to agree and just use one. Bloody hell. Um, but, yeah, so the one of the questions that come, has come up on all of them is because it is a clothing optional resort, how quickly do people dress down and, and are they naked? And do you have to? Yes. Do you want to address? Oh, was I not answering? Sorry. Do you want me to, do you want me to answer? <laughs> no, go ahead. No, no, no. Uh, so as I recall, at least from Passion, and admittedly, we have not been to Desire. Right. But I'm going to assume Desire is the same as Passion. It's just bigger. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I remember when we first got there, we all stayed pretty dressed, pretty well dressed for greeting everybody at least a sundress or sarong or something. yeah and yeah. shorts and a t-shirt for the guys yeah. and and look i think it's one of those things that if somebody had taken their top off which i vaguely remember somebody taking their top mm-hmm. off one of the ladies mm-hmm. nobody even noticed it just it happened and that that's just no. what it was but i think ultimately it's whatever you feel comfortable in and i would say that that lasted for about the first few hours as everyone was arriving yeah but once most people were there, that's I, when the clothes started coming exactly. off. Exactly. Once there was about 20 to 30 people, mm-hmm. that's when people started going, well, I'm going to get in the pool, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. Yeah. And clothing was quickly shed. Yeah. But again, what I loved about it was that it was no different than Our Secret Spot mm-hmm. on a random night. You would have couples sitting down who were fully clothed, talking to couples who were completely naked, talking to couples who were in bathers. Yeah. And yeah. nobody really acted any differently. That was it was it was all dependent on your comfort level. And even throughout, and I would say I'm going to make a blanket statement because I can't think of anyone who didn't at some point. But I think everyone got naked at some point, uh, if not for most of the weekend. Most people were nude. But you did see sitting around the pool, somebody would have a swimsuit on from time to time, or a bikini, or whatever. But so there were swimsuits from time to time. Of course, breakfast, we had to have, anytime we were in the restaurant, we had to have bottoms on. I think it was only bottoms that we had to have on. So yeah. we did have to wear some clothing. I am a little disappointed this year in the schedule that's been sent out. I'm curious to see what reality is. But in the schedule that was sent out this year, there's dinner time. And then the theme nights start at like 9. So dinner goes till 8. Theme night starts at 9. I'm curious. I'm gonna guess that that timing is a little bit loose, but I'm a little disappointed by the fact that the theme night doesn't start with dinner because it did last year. So I thought that too, but then I was talking to the lady yeah. this week, and she insisted that no, the only time that happened was the last night at the banquet dinner. Did everybody? Did the party start? The theme party start okay. at the same time? Because that's the night I'm really thinking about in particular. Because everyone was sitting around dressed up. Yes, because I even commented on. Remember, I was like, "Oh, remember Lawrence? He was wearing the the genie, the genie lamp." Yeah. And I remember him going through the buffet line. Yes. It was fucking hilarious because he had this giant <laughs> genie lamp on in the buffet line. And she goes, "Yeah, but that was the last night." Was that the only night? And she goes, "Every other night, we would eat." Because everybody ate at different okay. times. Okay. And then we would all come together. She goes, now I don't remember if it was at 9 o'clock or a little earlier. Yeah. 
But yeah. Okay. So, so I maybe complained I'm mis- about it, and I think you and I misremember. Okay, we may be misremembering because I do trust. When she said it that way, I was like, "Oh yeah, I do vaguely remember that now." Yeah, because the only time I actually, re- I mean, admittedly, the only dinner I really truly remember, like physically sitting down for, was the last night. Exactly. Me so, too. So yeah. Okay, I'll trust the lady then. We'll trust. But yeah. you know, so last year though, the first night was catered. Mm-hmm. The last night was catered. Mm-hmm. This year, the first night is only nibbles. Yeah. The last night is catered. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens then. We shall yeah. see. I'm also curious about Desire because, of course, they have actual, they have restaurants and things that you go to. Multiple restaurants, So that'll yeah. be, you know, you wear a sundress, wear something, some kind of clothing for dinner, and then afterwards are their theme nights. But from everything I've heard about Desire, especially the Life on the Swing Set Takeover Week, is that most... Things most play happens late at night, yes. so I expect those are going to be some like OSS late nights, sleep in a bit in the morning. You know, the bright take side, a nap in the afternoon. <laughs> well, the bright side of this is by the time we get done mm-hmm. with Desire and come back home, we'll still be on home schedule. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> no need to worry about jet lag. No, no, there will be no jet lag yeah. because we'll be you know sleeping the same as we sleep here, That's just true. over there. Yeah, yeah, very true. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, but so in that case, I think it makes a little more sense because I think the, the the resort is structured more towards late night parties yeah. and play and whatnot. Um, passion is a bit, but it's, also, it's mostly because the people make it that way, which maybe desire is too. And it's just everything we've heard that because there's so many people, because size is different, the, that then structures the resort that way. I mean, because we've all heard about the, the 2 a.m. pizza at Desire. And I want to... We also hear that there's tacos. Look, I'm on Angela's side now. Yeah, and I was going to call uh, uh, Cooper and Dylan and the Swing Set folks out on this one because everyone talks about the 2 a.m. pizza. Nobody mentioned the tacos until probably a couple weeks ago on the group chat that we've been on for months now. Somebody finally mentioned that there's tacos at late night too, which tacos are one of my absolute favorite foods in the world. It was really funny because so I was I, very excited to see I got that. a screenshot and a text from that. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was midday. <laughs> yeah. They're tacos. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, you have are. to let us know cuz like late night pizza is good, but tacos are even better. Well, because you can have one hand in the taco and one hand in a taco. <laughs> You got, I got my beef taco in my left hand <laughs> and a fish taco in my right hand. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll be eating my fish taco uh-huh. with one hand and have a you know a fur burger in the other hand. Well, yeah, that's saying. possible too. And and then and then be ready for my bratwurst. <laughs> Sorry, I can't control myself sometimes. I'm really excited to go on vacation. Please don't fuss at me. Yeah. I just want to go on vacation. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, back to the original question, which was, uh, when oh, do yeah. we get dressed down? <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> uh, and how does that happen? Look, it, it's up to your comfort. What are, what are you comfortable mm-hmm. in? And when, when do you want to dress down? And, and and I know that there were some people last year at Passion that were really concerned about it. And they were self-conscious, didn't necessarily want to dress down very quickly. But once... You know, half the people are naked and everyone's encouraging you. Peer pressure is a bitch. (laughs) But once you get naked and you have that sun and that heat and that warmth on your skin. Oh, my God. There's nothing better. There really isn't. And everyone embraced it. It was, you know, and it's funny because I remember and I want to do it again this year. I remember us going with the ginger tramp walking out down the nude beach area and getting some photos taken down there. And one of my favorite pictures I've ever had came from that where I'm covering my bits up and like, and the waves are crashing around yeah. me. I, I posted that one to my personal Facebook account, which I probably should put up again uh, yeah. in honor of vacation, but it was great. It was so fun. And then we've got the picture of you and I, the gif of you and I doing our naked dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Goofy, sexy. I'm so fun. I'm, I'm so fun. I'm so excited for the fun. I'm also fun. <laughs> just saying if you're, if you're in Sydney between, this week and that mm-hmm. week and, you know, mm-hmm. sorry, I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to, I'm pimping myself out on the podcast. You don't have too many free nights actually looking at the calendar. I know, right? Yeah. But there are a few free nights. There are a few. <laughs> there are a few. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. That's awesome. What else you got over there? Uh, so one of the other questions that we get asked, and we even have, have kind of dealt with this one a bit ourselves, is do you do any activities away from the resort? 
That's a wonderful question. It is, because I know that for Passion last year, we had spent the week before up in the Daintree Rainforest, Mm -hmm. which was really nice. So we had done uh, the scuba diving. We had done... Whitewater rafting. Whitewater rafting. We'd done a lot of activities. We'd seen a lot of things, a lot of animals and trails and stuff. And so we'd already done a lot of that. But this year, we're only going for Passion. We're not doing the rest of the stuff beforehand. And there was a group that popped up and said... You know, does anyone want to go out snorkeling on the reef? And, I mean, we've been to the Great Barrier Reef now twice. And it was a lot of fun both times. And I kind of feel like with the way that we as humanity are treating our environment, we should see it as much as we can before we bleach it and it's gone. Wow. Preachy (laughs) much? I'm kidding. (laughs) I agree. I'm just being But it's also fun. I mean, it is. And and each time our experience has been different. We've seen different things. And this is going to be a group of people we're going to passion with. So it's going to be because it's what ended up happening was we basically got enough people to take over the entire boat yeah. that's going so out. It's six couples. Fourteen people, I thought. Oh, seven couples. Seven couples. Okay. So there's there's seven couples that'll be going out for half day on the reef. And we really debated because part of us says that's even the first day or well, the first full day. So we wake up in the morning there and, and we kind of debated because it's nice to go to the resort and just be there. And you're surrounded by the sexy people the whole time. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything. You're just there to relax and enjoy yourself. And there's something really, really nice about that. But again... So why would you leave? Yeah, but again, snorkeling. And and so (laughs) we really kind of debated about this. I will say, and just to be absolutely honest, if we weren't going to desire, Mm -hmm. I would have said, no, let's not go. Mm -hmm. Let's stay at the resort and just chill. Because the other thing to look at it is... It's expensive to go yeah. to these resorts. You know, you're looking at, at a pretty big chunk of money to go and spend your time at these resorts. Yeah. So do you really want to spend more money to leave? Yeah. And you're not, or you're just, still spending the money to stay at the resort. So, yeah. but, you know, it was another one of those things where we knew one of the, of the seven other couples, we know we're one of those couples and we know three of the others. Mm-hmm. And, and know him enough that we've played with two of them and are good friends with a third. Right. So. All but played with a third. Yeah. Yeah. We've, yeah. <laughs> played around the third, but yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. Actually, we have seen them <laughs> naked at the club. Yeah. We've yeah. just never played with them. Yeah. We've played in the vicinity of them. But we like them. They're lovely human beings. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, great. and, you know, the other two couples we've actually played with. Mm-hmm. So this was a, an opportunity for us to go out and just sort of hang out with friends. Yeah. In a. In an experience of snorkeling at the Great Barrier Reef. I mean, right. yeah, yeah. You know, people can't see it at home, but I'm throwing my hands up in the air like, why wouldn't you do this? Why would you not? Yeah. So <laughs> it, it was one of those things for me that was kind of, it became an easy thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, of course, let's do this. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going out with some of our best friends mm-hmm. and and three new couples that are, you know, of course, we're. I'm assuming we're going to like them. We like yeah. tend to like everybody at, at the club or at the, um, at, at the resort. Mm-hmm. So... It was an easy choice. And plus, it's only half a day. Right. So you're not out that much. Yeah. And the other thing is, so let's talk about going off-site first of all, and then we'll come back to on-site. But the other thing is that looking at Desire, we did have the debate as well, because there's there's bird watching tours we can take you know, from there, because it's, it's in Cancun. So there's bird watching stuff we can do. There's the ruins that are nearby. There's a lot of stuff that you can do around the Cancun area that you can go off the resort and go out for an afternoon, a day, whatever. And so we really kind of debated because we've both been there before in different capacities, but at the same time, it would be fun to do some of these things together together and now. But ultimately, by the time we get to Desire, we decided we just want to be at the resort relaxing. This is our holiday. You know, uh, touristy stuff can come later. That can be yeah. another trip. Yeah. But, or maybe add it on another year to Desire. And that's sort of what I'm thinking. Because but, one of the things you can do from Desire is snorkel and dive yeah. with whale sharks. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that'd be fun. But it's not the right time of year this time. Mm. So I was like, well, next time we could do that and then maybe some of the touristy stuff and then a week of yeah. Desire kind of yeah. thing. And I know that some people are going to go off the resort and do some of that stuff. So it's kind of a mixture, but it is something... Even friends of ours have kicked around. Yeah, absolutely. And so I think it's something to think about is while you're there, you know, do you want to spend all of your time on the resort or do you want to go away? And I know that before 
passion last year, I was concerned that I would get bored and that there wouldn't be enough activities going on at the resort to keep me entertained and for me to want to stay there the whole time. That is no longer a question. It's there because there's so many people and so many varied interests and there is actually a lot of activity going on that I had no problem staying entertained. I didn't get bored at any point. Um, Well, you know, just to talk to folks about things that aren't sex that happened mm -hmm. at the resort. Just last year in the the few days that we were there, we met some balloon artists and we were blowing up balloons. And, you know, I have a little bit of history with balloon animals. So we, the three, four of us were playing with balloons and, and putting balloon animals. And, you know, for folks who were like, oh, we were at a swingers resort, wouldn't, shouldn't you be, you know, fucking people? <laughs> You're like, look, it's, you can't fuck all the time. And it's making those human connections. Yeah. And yeah. so that was fun. And, and plus, for those other people, you, we, you can double stuff a 260Q and it becomes like a dildo. So Angela had uh, multiple balloon dildos to play with. Yeah. And this year, we're going to try to make a double-ended dildo yes. that two women can use at once. I've asked specifically for that ahead yeah. of time. And apparently, it, it's going to happen. It's I've heard it's possible. Yeah. So, you know, then we had board games and card games. We did Mm -hmm. what we called the World Series of Bullshit. Yeah. If you never played Bullshit, it's a great (laughs) game. But anyway, so that was fun. And there's just sitting by the pool reading your Kindle. Yeah, and chatting or listening to music. Or or I think one day, for at least two and a half hours, we played volleyball in the pool. Yeah. Yeah. And then one day, we were all trying to tip people over off of the little floaty devices yeah. and and playing with balls, throwing balls in and out. I mean, just like, not that kind of playing with balls. There was plenty of that as well. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it, it just goes to the point of, you know, there's so much stuff to do. People were walking away and going down the beach mm-hmm. to take photos. People would bring their cameras and take their photos or mm-hmm. their iPhones, whatnot. And I see that happening again yeah. this year. This year, I haven't decided if I'm taking it to... Uh, to passion but i'm definitely taking a nintendo switch to Mm -hmm. desire so that people who want to come to our room and we're looking at you the bed hoppers we're gonna all get together and watch movies and play games mario party mario party baby mario kart so it's gonna be you know stuff like that which is fun and it's making those connections, putting the devices down. You don't have because we don't have our phones. We're picking on up us. the devices though with Nintendo. Well, okay, Nintendo. But I'm, ta- <laughs> I'm thinking phones, yes. like social media, and, and disconnecting from the world. Yeah, disconnecting a bit from everything. It's fun. It's nice. There is no worry about carrying your phone around everywhere. I mean, we did a little bit for pictures, but yes. that was it. Um, well, and this year we're both on a uh, on a cellular plan that, from what I understand, we, does not get. Yeah, we didn't get good. Sig- well, I of, did last year because I was on a different. Yeah, one plan. of us had a different carrier. But now I'm on so. the same carrier as you, which is n- notorious for not getting yeah. signal here. Which is kind of nice. I'm kind of fucking stoked yeah. for that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. But just, I, the, I guess the point of that long rambling statement was that, you know, you're, it's not just about the sex. Right. It's about being comfortable in a space. And I think more importantly than anything else, something that so many of us, don't have which is especially for the swingers the bi community the kink community and the poly community to have a a space in which you don't have to be filtered yeah where you can say what you want and not really worry about it Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and and also as part of the whole activities thing i know that uh at passion we're going to be sex in the city we're going to be doing two of the classes there. Um, so that's happening two different days. There'll be those going on in the afternoon. The swings, Life on the Swing Set Week at Desire, they have a whole suite of activities going on every day. That, My God, the the number, calendar looks amazing. I mean, the number of stuff. Let's talk real quick about that. Okay. So, of course, at Passion in Paradise, we're going to be doing a blowjob and cock massage, uh-huh. massage class. It's going to be interactive, though. It's going to be interactive. Yeah. So it's not going to be like the classes that we run here in Sydney where mm. – it's just us lect- lecturing at people and then me getting naked and Angela doing the naughty stuff to me. In this one, naughty. we're going to encourage everybody to be naked mm-hmm. and the naughty stuff to happen as we're teaching it. With their partners. Yeah. With their with their own partners. Mm-hmm. So pretty excited for that. And then on Sunday, we're doing a Nuru massage class. Yes. Which is basically we've got tarps that are going to be laid out in one of the fields or one of the back areas, I guess, lawns. Uh, well, it's beachside. It's, it's beachside, beachside yeah. lawn. <laughs> yeah, beachside lawn. Yeah. And then we are going to have Nuru massage lotion made up to where... Yeah, and we're going to teach people how to do it, what yeah. to do. And, and 
I'm hoping because that's Sunday, so that's well into the weekend, that I'm, I'm hoping that there will be mixing up and maybe not with your own partner. But we'll see how that goes. Yes. And we will, of course, discuss consent and consent yes. rules before yes. all that. So it's going to be, I'm pretty excited for that. Mm-hmm. So then when you look at the passion or the desire, the, the life on the swing set uh, schedule, dude, I'm so excited for that. Things mm-hmm. that include tequila bourbon tastings mm-hmm. to late night stargazing mm-hmm. from the spas mm-hmm. uh, to foam, two foam parties, I think, yeah. which you've never been to a foam party. No, I'm really excited. It's, yeah. It's, a little I'm, terrified, but a little excited. It's <laughs> Actually, a lot excited, a little terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that. And the only reason I'm ever terrified, and I would not be if I hadn't read uh, Cooper S. Beckett's book uh-huh. where he talked about like the it was from the I think the woman's perspective in the phone party and she was concerned about breathing and not being able to yeah. breathe and I never even considered that so thank you Cooper for making me a little bit paranoid but that's okay <laughs> we'll make it through it'll be all right I'm still gonna do it it's not gonna hold me back <laughs> I love it I love it so yeah and, and then you've got the 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 classes on BDSM and impact play on pegging pegging which i mean we're i think we're professional peggers but to see them do... I, st- I still want to see how the class goes and what yes. they talk about and you, you never know you might learn something oh i'm gonna there's, learn something there's sure. always something to learn nobody knows everything yeah. and so i think it's gonna be fun and there's also the sex toy show and tell i yes holy shit which oh we're taking some of the geeky sex toys for that so we had yeah. a huge box delivered uh from geeky sex toys on, on monday and it's mm-hmm. yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's a yeah. lot of geeky sex toys. I'm yep. woof. Yeah. Anyway. Uh there's live podcasts that are gonna happen. Yes. Uh from Sexual Dark Ages, from Life on the Swing Set, from Tristan Torimino's uh mm-hmm. podcast to our own podcast. Yep. We're gonna get to do our first live podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, in which we're going to be giving away some geeky sex toys. So, amongst other things, yeah. amongst other things, that's true. We mm. do have some. We have a little little bag. We have we have a little gift bag. Mm. So yeah, I mean, it's I'm so excited for yeah. all the stuff that's going on. The talks, the the meet and the, there's speed dating, there's meet and mingles, yeah. there's it's going to be fun. So there's a lot oof. of activities that are going on on the resort. So again, when you're thinking about structuring your trip and do you want to do anything off the resort, take a look and see what may be happening there that you want to be around for before you decide to go off. And then I know during the swinging down under and we got a thing takeover. Mm -hmm. I I haven't seen a schedule from that yet, Mm -mm. but I know they've got someone who's coming in to do uh, something on classes on uh, photography, okay. boudoir photography. I'm, I know they've got a couple of uh, theme nights that are going on. I don't know exactly what their schedule is just yet. I don't think it's been released just yet. Yeah. But we are, I mean, we're a, a while out from yeah. that. So, a few weeks. Yeah. Three or four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Get on it, C&D. I'm kidding. Um, so, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm so excited yeah. for, yeah, just to, just to chill out. So if you're, if you're going to a, a takeover, you know, Pay attention to what's going on because you don't want to miss something that yeah, they could really be interested yeah. in. Yeah. And could even if you're only a little bit interested or you don't know, you're you know, you've not been exposed to it, like say the impact play, the flogging or the pegging, but you kinda just want to see it's a great time to go and just learn something and, and see if it's something you might be interested in or not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. Should we talk about the like big important thing with the lifestyle resort vacation? What's that? Condoms and lube and toys, and what do you take with you in that respect? Holy shit balls, indeed. So, obviously, condoms and lube, yes. Because most of the time, they are not provided. I know that right. Life on the Swing said they do have a condom sponsor. Mm-hmm. But still, if you've got a condom brand, trust me, you've got one that you love, that you know, that you want to use. Bring your own. BYO. Admittedly, also, um, I will say that we will be taking not only condoms that we like, but also large sized ones for other potential play partners yes. because it's good to have a little bit of variety for other people as well. Yes. Um, Cause you know, not everybody's the same size. I will say so. I'm not a large size guy, but I prefer large size condoms because they move around a little more. Hmm. So just saying. Yeah. Um, and definitely lube. If there's any toys that you like in particular or that you think you may want to use on someone else. Yes. Take those. Yes. Um, yeah. We'll probably take a, uh, flogger to maybe a paddle some things like that some strap-ons yeah don't know how much we're going to use them but it's always good to have just in case it's like it's it's like everything else it's better to have it not need it than need it not have it. we're probably going to take more stuff like that than we do actual clothes yes that's true (laughs) well we have a a suitcase full of of costumes Uh and we'll have a suitcase 
half that size full of toys and Probably. and condoms and yeah. lube. Yeah. And what's the most important thing to take to a clothing optional resort? Sunscreen. Sunscreen. So yeah, that's something that because uh, you don't want to burn your bits. No. Nah. Next thing you want is a is a bright red <laughs> prawn between your legs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I made a joke there. Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw. My, I mean, some of us uh-huh. are popcorn shrimps, and some of them are lobsters. But, you know, <laughs> thought a lobster, but then a flounder. Oh, dear God. <laughs> it's been so long since I've heard that. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that one back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so one last thing I've got on the whole lifestyle resort bit is just talking to your partner ahead of time about your play expectations. Oh, we haven't talked about that. No. Well, I think it's for us, it's like any other night at the club. But, yes. But especially for people that don't go to Do swingers. you have your tickets to Pound Town? <laughs> <laughs> but for people that don't go to swingers club routinely, yes. or maybe you're just kind of getting into things a bit and you just wanted to check it out and, you know, be clothing optional and just kind of be in the environment. Um I do think it's really important to discuss with your partner beforehand what kind of play you're interested in, what's, again, allowed limits, what's allowed, what's not allowed, what may be situational. Um, but I would say overall, be flexible and, and just, you know, be willing to go with the flow because you never know what situation may arise, what's going to happen, who you're going to meet, who you're going to be interested in. And I know for us there have been times in play before where we may think that I'm not interested in somebody who X, Y, or Z. And then somebody comes along that fits in that category, but they're amazing. And it's like, holy shit, I really want to play with you. And so you have to be flexible. Um, and I think that's really important in, in this kind of environment because you are, it's, it's holiday, you're laid back, you're, you're rested, you're relaxed, and you're going to meet people from all over the world, all different backgrounds. It's going to be outside of your norm. And I think you have the opportunity to have some really, really awesome, amazing experiences with people from different areas and different backgrounds that, you know, can really open your world up a bit if you're, if you're open and willing to, yeah. to go for it. I agree. And it's, it's one of those things that I think, I think you're right in that you should have a conversation, yeah. but with outs, mm. meaning you have an out, like, cause like you said, there's been, there's been those times at the club where you meet somebody and you come up to me and you're like, oh my gosh, you have to meet this person. And when I meet them, I'm like, this is not the person I would have ever expected you to go for. And it ends up being great. Yeah. So you sort of have to have that flexibility and the fluidity to say, all right, you know what? Let's let's give this a go. Let's and I, and I trust your judgment. Yeah, yeah, I trust your judgment. And yeah. so it ended up being a blast. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, too, uh, I, I wanted to plug... We've we've talked about him a lot already this podcast, but uh, Cooper S. Beckett he's got a couple of books out. One is a lifeless monogamous, uh, which is about a couple that are just becoming non-monogamous. But then the other one, which you don't have to have read the first one, because I read them out of order. I read a lifeless monogamous first, but then approaching the swingularity, mm-hmm. and so approaching the swingularity is at a resort called Aphrodite's, which has a very uncanny resemblance to Desire. Yes. And it's told from seven different points of view about their experience at Aphrodite, a club with uncanny resemblance to Desire. So if you're curious about what it's like... It's a really good book. It's a great book. You can you can find your copy. They're on audible.com if you like audiobooks, or you can go to um, Cooper S. Beckett dot com slash books Mm -hmm. and you can purchase them directly from him so uh yeah they're we've we've got a copy on kindle and i've got a copy on audiobook Mm -hmm. and i even bought my mom a copy so that she could uh give it a read and she read it and she actually quite liked it so uh it's i think it's a good thing to kind of it's a little erotica Mm -hmm. but a lot it's actually very story driven it is it is and it it dives into a lot of different issues and situations and things that you may encounter in in this kind of environment and I think it's, yeah. I think that anybody who is curious about going to a a lifestyle resort Mm. should read this. For sure. Um, And unfortunately, we don't get a, we don't get a, Cooper, give us a a percentage. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. All right. So you want to wrap it up? Yeah, sure. Uh, Yeah. So that's our expectations and excitement about our upcoming three weeks and Mm -hmm. two and a half weeks in paradise. Mm -hmm. Uh, we will talk a little bit more about some of our other vacation stuff that's coming up 
uh, in future podcasts. Yep. But for now, I think that's our yep. lead in to, so you want to go to a resort. <laughs> uh, if you have questions, comments, or rude remarks regarding going to resorts, email us, theatomsoflove at gmail.com, or you can message us on the Facebooks, on the Instagrams, on the Twitters. We are at By the By Podcast on all of those. If you want to support us, we would greatly appreciate it. It helps us produce this pro- this podcast and uh, maybe a couple other like sexy, cool things that we're trying to get off the ground mm-hmm. in the not-too-distant future. You can go to patreon.com slash by the by podcast and uh, support us there. We really appreciate it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for listening. Thanks. And we'll see you next week. Mm.